nice. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. I always used to dream of uh, coming onto a stage and being applauded before I'd done anything. <laughs> It's a thrill to be here in uh, Philadelphia. Um, I couldn't possibly stand up here without uh, acknowledging the fact that this city's been so important to us in our career. It's one of the very first places we came to as Queen many, many, many years ago. You know, it's, <laughs> we owe you a lot. You know, we, we grew up here in, in, in this one of the great capitals of, of rock music. And uh, I went to MMR this morning, and I kind of felt at home, which was going to be a little great. Anybody hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I'd like to say a few thank yous. The people used to do this at the end, but I'd like to do it at the beginning, just to uh, just kind of set the, uh, set the scene here. I want to say thank you to Greg Dinkins, who's down there, a very good friend and a fellow author in stereoscopy, a luminary of the national Stereoscopic Association, which we just visited. Greg Dinkins is handling the projection, and we thank him greatly. He's fantastic. <laughs> also, thank you to his lovely daughter Lily, who is here with him, and she's been sticking all your um, spectacles together. So we are. <laughs> Establishment who's been setting us up here this afternoon, we really appreciate, appreciate that. And uh, Andy Kane, who supervised this whole thing um, of getting us up and running today. We have a couple of people here from England, I have to say. Emma O'Brien is from Francis Lincoln, our English publisher. Very happy that you're here, Emma. And my own lovely daughter, Emily, is also here. <laughs> Taking care of testing my credit card and uh, doing this. <laughs> She's an essential part of the organization. Um, treacherous, this is. Of course, I'm here because of my colleague uh, and co author, Elena Vidal, who is. <laughs> She's from San Sebastian. Watch out. <laughs> she speaks about 15 languages and uh, you've got to be really careful on that. She, she's also taught me everything that I know about conservation since I was introduced to her about 15 years ago. Um, and she's been a fantastic uh, teacher for me as regards rigor in researching these, uh, these wonderful items which we'll be showing you in a second. Um, the glasses that you have, everybody usually says, please return the glasses. But you can keep these glasses. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've made them for you, it's special. And uh, I hope you enjoy them. They are special scenes and others. They are mementos of this fabulous occasion. But we hope it's fabulous anyway. Um, okay, here's my little uh, tweaker here, here. We're here to present to you our new book, A Village Lost and Found. And the subject of the book is the work of master stereoscopic photographer of the 1850s, T.R. Williams, Thomas Richard Williams. And in fact, this book is about one particular part of his work, uh, the particular stereo card series called Scenes in Our Village. And we'll discover more about that as we go along. Um, a couple of months ago, a few months ago now, we were in a very picturesque uh, English village called Hinton Waldrist in Oxfordshire to launch the book, which was a great full circle because, as you'll see, everything started in this little village about 150 years ago. And um, it was great for us to complete that circle and take these photographs back to uh, the population, the present population of that village who had no idea that this had gone on in the 1850s. So it was really a very good uh, feeling and a fulfillment of a, of a dream, really. Um, to bring what we regard as a priceless work of art, which was almost lost to the world, which is why we called the book A Village Lost and Found. It, it damn nearly was lost, because these cars were scattered all through the, uh, all over the planet, and it, it's taken me, well, 40 years, I suppose, to collect them all together. I still don't have them all, physically. I don't have them all, but I'm lucky enough to know some people who have the, the missing cards that I don't have, and they've been kindly 
uh, letting us scan them, and that's why this book represents the first complete collection of these cards ever in the world. Thank you. Okay, today we're going to take you on a journey, um, a, a little discussion about T.L. Williams and then a journey through this particular piece of his work. And to do this we have a silver screen. This is no ordinary screen, it's a silver screen. And you have to have a silver screen to project in stereo. Uh, the particular system we're using is the same as Avatar, really. It's the same kind of thing. It's, uh, <laughs> it's quite Avatar. You know? <laughs> But it's the same idea, that there's cross-polaroid spectacles, these are not sunglasses, they're cross polaroids and the Polaroid uh, spectacles separate out the relevant images for each.